Welcome back to GTA Online for some more GTA Online Tuners cars. Last time we checked out this, this thing. <laughs> this is our Subaru 22B, which is an amazing vehicle. Today though, we have a super, super cool vehicle that I am so excited is actually in the game. That is this thing, the BMW M2 Competition, also known as the Cypher. Turn signals not included for the low, low price of 1.5 mil. I feel like I say this every single time, but this lineup of cars in this garage is unreal. Anyways, this is definitely a BMW M2 competition. Let's go take our brand new Uber Max Cypher. You kind of have to say it like that. It sounds more legit. Let's take it over to the car meet, do some GTA online customization and cross our fingers that this is gonna have some cool stuff. Kimmy says it's the sixth fastest car in the tuners class and the 36th fastest car in the sports class. So this is not gonna be a race car. We might do one race with it just to see how it does. But for now, let's focus our upgrades around drifting this. Armor, we're gonna skip out on that. Brakes, we've gotta start this up with some race brakes. We have 13 front bumpers on here, all right. So let's see what we can do to the Cypher, the BMW M2. I I'm not gonna lie, right off the bat, none of these are actually bumpers. Every single one of these is actually a front splitter. But I do like this one. This is actually very, very cool. I love the subtle color trim down with the carbon fiber and how it fits that front bumper. I think that looks really good. What do we have for the rear bumper? Only a couple different options here. Okay, and these actually change our diffuser. I kind of like the idea of a very aggressive diffuser like this. Let's go for that. This actually matches our front very nicely. Let's go for that. Perfect. Chassis. Wait, no. Yes, we've actually got wide body kits for this thing. It's going to make our fitment a bit jank. That is for sure. But I think for now, we'll go with this one, the primary bolt on. We'll come back and we'll see if this carbon fiber one looks better. But for now... We'll go with this guy. And then in the chassis, you can customize the rear diff- No way, you can add a rear diffuser to your rear diffuser? This one looks really good. Again, that red trim is very, very subtle, but I think in the long run, it's gonna look so nice on here. Engine customization, okay, right off the bat. You can swap in an RB26 engine cover in there. As cool as that stuff is, at the end of the day, this is a BMW M2. So we'll keep the BMW engine cover. So, and it also saves us a lot of money. Let's tune our engine all the way to the max and then fitting. So we've got all of our strut braces and okay usual sort of stuff in there moving on to our exhaust we have a bunch of different options unfortunately i can't really see them unless i'm revving the hell out of the car so apologies for the engine noise yo you could give this thing audi rs tailpipes that's pretty cool i'm gonna go with my titanium exhaust tips i love those in games i have them in real life that is fantastic anyways we have 14 different grills, okay? So you've got standard BMW options. You can turn your vehicle into a Jeep if you want. Definitely a little bit big, also a little bit big. Are all of these just gonna be massive? Why does the Cypher in this game look like this? That's literally what it looks like. I know BMW grills are massive and all, but come on. This is probably the best out of the options that we have. I hate the double badge on the vehicle, but I think that's gonna have to do it. Let's go for our favorite hood pins. Those always look good. And then for the hood itself, I'm really hoping for something a little bit more aggressive. Okay, that's just a bit silly if I'm honest. That's not bad. I'm kind of contemplating doing a carbon fiber hood though. 
Yo, you can see into your engine. That actually reminds me of a BMW M3. Okay. Twitch chat, do we like this one? Carbon fiber hood? Okay, all of Twitch chat likes this one. We are going with this one. Anyways, after that, we've got some good old fashioned interior customization. Doors, again, you can change all of your door panels. Yo, I feel like we've been customizing this vehicle for a Yo, those are cool. Unfortunately, though, all of these are locked. Never mind, I just spent $49,000 on them. Well, we now have blue headlights. I hope you like it. Mirrors. Okay, we definitely need some modified side mirrors. We will go carbon fiber. Thank you very much. Always looking good. Respray, we will come back to as per usual. Roof customization. Okay, so we've got fins. Um, okay. Guys, I don't know if the people at Rockstar actually know this, but these fins don't actually do anything performance wise. If you see a vehicle in real life with a fin like this, it has satellite radio. That, that's all they do. You don't need two fins on your vehicle. It looks a bit silly. However, I think I will go for a carbon fiber roof. Yo, you can actually get like the ridged carbon fiber roofs. That is so sick. And we'll keep that red fin on the top. That actually looks kind of cool, actually. Anyways, after that side skirts, I do want something with some red trim again so we can match our front bumper, our rear bumper, and all of that. That's pretty good, actually. I guess that's actually the best option. Unfortunately, we don't have too many side skirt options, so we'll go with that one. Rear wing, 15 different rear wings, okay. Right off the bat, the ducktail is awesome. So we've got different sorts of ducktails, carbon fiber ducktail, wedge ducktail. I think that's what I would run in real life. A big ducktail. Okay. Are we actually going to be able to? Yeah. Okay. We can actually get some rear wings on this, but if we're going to be drifting it, then I don't think I want to go with one of these big rear wings. I'm thinking more like a ducktail, something like this. Maybe even something like this. Maybe a regular carbon fiber ducktail. It's not that crazy. Yeah, let's go for that. After that, sun strips. Yes, we definitely need a sun strip to match the vehicle. Let's go with... Uh, let's go with this guy. And then suspension. We're gonna definitely slam this guy all the way to the ground. That looks so good. That makes our fitment actually look a thousand times better. Upgrade our transmission. Upgrade our turbo. We can change our vents. Yo, okay. Actually, I like that. Carbon fiber vents. And then we can customize our wheels. As per always, we need to use those tuner wheels. They're just way too cool. Those kind of work on this vehicle. Okay, so let's go with those. Tire designs. Thank you very much. Tire enhancements. Low grip tires to go drifting. And then last but not least, black out the windows. Thank you very much. That is a very, very cool looking vehicle. So let's see. Let's see what livery options we have. Hopefully there's something that fits this vehicle very, very well. I kind of want to go kind of race car-y with this. So let's see if there's something that kind of fits that. BMW art car. That's awesome. That's... That's not bad. Or we have this, a take on the need for speed, BMW M3. I'm really not happy with any of these liveries. I guess I'll go with some stupid stripes for 21,000 bucks. An absolute ripoff and a half. I think we found our color. White. I think the only other thing I want to do is just come back to my wheels real quick and just black them out. There you go. That's it. That's the sickest looking car we've ever done. Let's see what everybody has done with their GTA customization. My car, very, very subtle. Kind of like a panda paint job. That's actually really, really cool. This is Fire, who's gone the same sort of route as me. Very stealthy, all black with purple headlights. I like that. That looks like a factory BMW M2. This one is Ank, who's gone the other sort of route with things. Turned his into a wide body race car. And then last but not least, BMW M3, let's go. I don't know what this is gonna be like to drive just yet. If I want this to slide more, I'll slam the suspension down. But for now, let's try it like this. Let's see if I can follow Ank around the car me. Let's go, buddy. I have a feeling I'm gonna need some more slip from the vehicle. Yeah, even with low grip, 
tires. I need way less grip than this. All right, I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be back. We are going to slam this vehicle right to the ground. That is much better. Now, I have no excuse not to be able to drift. Attempt number two at drifting the cypher. How is it going to be? Okay. 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 That's not bad. It's actually kind of crazy how slow this vehicle goes while still spinning its wheels. It's kind of like, you know what? You know what the best way of describing this car is? It's a very good beginner's drift car because you're drifting so slow, you're not really encouraged to send it through all of the corners. I'm kind of happy with this. This is actually so sick. What a cool vehicle. I cannot believe how well this thing actually slides. What a cool vehicle. Let's go. Anyways, now that we've done that, that is definitely a solid drift car. I want to go back to the car meet, get these slippery, slidey tires off, and let's do a race with it. Goodbye, low grip tires. Hello, regular tires. I have one other thing I want to do to it. I'm sorry. I really like the purple, okay? I find the purple looks so cool. This vehicle looks awesome, but please, please do not let me down. Okay. I'm already getting burnt off the line instant. I'm getting absolutely destroyed. Oh my god. Nobody knows where we're going. Oh yeah, play on a new racetrack, they said. Where are we going? I'm in P20. Do not count me down and out. This is about to be comeback season for the BMW M2 competition. We're already gaining on people. I'm a bit worried to go for the curb boost everywhere, but we're getting some very nice overtakes in. Up the hill, through the right-hander, up to P15 already. We're zooming. We are absolutely zooming. We're getting some good overtakes in. Still P15. Get on the brakes. That's a corner you can take very tight. That's a corner you can take very tight. P14. Do not go for the curb boost and end up in the ocean. That would be bad. Oh, okay. And that is how you take P13 as I nearly spin it going up. Um, You know, I don't think that's the optimal racing line, my guy. Anyways, I'm up to P12. I'm not doing that badly considering I got lost and I am James May. I really want top 10, but that's going to be an ask and a half. Here we go. Nice quick line through there. Think this is going to be the end of lap number one. There we go. Come on. I'm two places away from top 10. Go for some curb boost where I can. Remember to break. Okay, then I've got to cut the... Is that actually how you're supposed to take that corner? Because it doesn't feel like it. I, I went from P12 to P14 in one corner, so I must have gone the wrong way. Get some positions back, please. P13, I can see P11, do not get air. There we go, that guy's out of it. Thank you very much, do not drift through there. Come on, get P11, get P11. That's P11, thank you. There's P10, come on. We're gonna get him, we got him. I don't know what his problem was, I don't know why he wasn't going. But I'll take- I'm not gonna complain. Do not bottle it with only a couple corners left to go. They're right behind me. Break early. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. A couple corners. Come on. We're nearly there. Finish line is in sight. I- Oh, I thought that was gonna be P9. This might be P9. No! What place? What place did I get? Yes! Yes! P10! P10! I can definitely say after that race, that is not a quick vehicle. Based off what chat was saying before, I was expecting this vehicle to be way worse than it actually was. Maybe that got my expectations down a little bit, but this is actually a very fun car to drive. I wouldn't say this is my favorite vehicle in the GTA Online Tuners update, but it's not a bad car. I really, really like this thing.